Hello and welcome back to the lecture on applied econometrics and we have been talking about dummy variable. So far we have covered a binary dummy variable and we have seen how we, we, we can incorporate a binary dummy variable in our regression equation. Now as we said at the beginning that all dummy variables are not necessarily binary. So we can have multiple categories, right? For example, you know, region, religion, social group, right? So they can have like four or five categories. Now how to really include four or five categories into our regression equation? So this is basically going to be the topic of this lecture. For example, we have social group which is four categories we have seen, right? So how do we really address that and that is what we are, this is basically our case two. Now we have seen something called reference category already and reference category we have seen if I have like a reference in, in any dummy variable, I have to have a reference category. So if I have a binary dummy variable, so I have like gender, so I have say male or female and I have female reference category. So I include only one dummy variable for that, right? Only one dummy variable for that and that is representing the males and when I include the dummy variable, the impact due to the gender change is reflected in the coefficient for that dummy variable, right? Now what happens if I have five categories? How do I really define the reference category and how do I really define the other categories? So essentially how we do is, we actually define one, you know, like we actually define one, one particular variable name for each of these different categories of dummy variable. For example, let me show you if I have, if I have, let's say the social group case, social group, social group and I have let's say this four social groups. So this general, SC, ST and OBC let's say and I have to assign a value for all of these different categories. Now if someone is general, let's say the first person is general, so then the, by virtue of being general, he is not SC, he is not ST or he is not OBC, okay. Similarly, if a person is not, let's, let's say a person is basically SC, then if someone is SC, then he is not general, he is not ST, he is not OBC, okay. Or if a person is ST, let's say, then that person is not any of these, okay. And similarly, if a person is OBC, then he is not ST, he is not SC or he is not general, okay. So essentially what I have, what we will do is we will create dummy variable for each of these different categories. So there could be dummy variable for general, there could be dummy variable for SC, there could be dummy variable for ST and there could be dummy variable for OBC. But note here, the moment you sum them up, if you basically take a sum, so the sum value here it is going to be 1, right? If I just want to take a sum of all these different values, it is going to give me a value of 1 because it is someone is 1 and then automatically by default he is going to be 0 for all other categories. So if I sum up, so essentially I can write summation of this particular dummy di for all these different categories, it is going to give me a value of 1, okay. So this is how I will first create the dummy variables, okay, for general, for SC, for ST and OBC. Now I know in the previous, from the previous example, I know that I have to have a reference category. I have to have a reference category. So which one is going to be my reference category? Now, in general, in general, we sort of take the reference category which is more, most prominent or I know I have a lot of information about that category or which is the most number of observations because then I can measure the other categories with respect to the reference category. So here, let's say in this case, I will take general as a reference category. I mean, you can choose anything you want, but uh, usually it is easier for us to explain if I take the category which is like the most prominent, most well known, okay. So I take that as the uh, reference category. Now when I take that as a reference category in my regression equation what I include is that I include these variables. I include a variable for SC, I include a variable for ST, I include a variable for OBC, okay. So let's say my Y is equal to let's say some beta 1 plus some beta 2 x2 plus let's say beta 3 st sc beta 4 st and beta 5 
obviously. Of course, you can add any other variable you want, but just because of the social group, what I have done is because there are four categories, I have taken one reference category that is the most well known category that is general, and I have added all these different variables as my uh, dummy variables into my regression equation. Okay, so because there are four variables, so I have taken 4 minus 1 dummy variable in the regression equation, 3 dummy variables. Now, as I said, you could have like very well OBC as a reference category, let's say, reference category, and then you could have added SC, ST, and general instead of OBC, okay. And you had to explain the regression with respect to the OBC category. So, SC with respect to OBC, ST with respect to OBC, and general with respect to OBC. Now, let me actually run the regression. Let me actually run the regression. So let us let us actually create the categories here. So in my data set, I think what we have, how we have named it as, yeah, SOCGR is the name of the variable. So what I'm going to do is in my, where I'm going to rename the variables. So I'm going to write it as, so uh, let's say I have to generate a variable for SC, I have to generate a variable for ST, I have to generate a variable for general, okay, and I'll replace, replace SC is equal to 1 if the social group, I think it is, uh, it is 1. And replace SC is equal to 0 for all other categories. If social group is not equal to, I think this is how you write this. Now it should be fine. Okay. So, what I have done simply, I have, so there are 998 people who are SC. And there are so many other 24,523 people who are not SC, okay. So, SC is equal to 0 for all other categories, exactly what we have seen here. So, SC is equal to 0 for all other categories, okay. So, for this person, only, uh, only for uh, if social group is equal to 1, he is SC, for all other categories, he is not SC. Now, similarly, you can create other variables also. Let us say, replace st is equal to, oh, of course, I have to create another category, this is obc dot st is equal to 1 if social group is equal to, let us say, 2. I think this, these are the values as I am, uh, you know, assigning from my memory, but it could be like st could be 1 and sc could be 2. I do not, I do not recall, but it does not matter, it is just for a illustration purpose, okay. So, if ST is equal to 1 for social group is equal to 2, so if my, in my original data, if social, uh, ST, social group is equal to 2 means ST, so I am simply replacing ST is equal to 1 for when the person is really ST and when the person is not ST, that is social group is not equal to 2, then I am replacing the value ST is equal to 2, okay. Similarly, I can have Replace, replace OBC is equal to 1 if SOCGR is equal to 3, let us say, and replace OBC is equal to 0 if SOCGR is not equal to 3, okay. And I think the general category, they kind of, they categorize general as 9, okay, general is equal to 1 if social group is equal to 9 and general is equal to, general is equal to 0 if social group is not equal to 9, okay. So, anything uh, which is not 9 is not general. Let us say this one has to 2 and then I can, then I can, then there is no problem. I will get all the, all the different values replaced here. Now, in my regression equation, so let us say I run the regression equation for, in the previous case, we had 
gender and sector. So now I want to include all these different categories. Okay. So what I'll do, I can now I can choose what reference category you want. I so let's say you know from my knowledge, prior knowledge, I'll be you know better off by by defining general education as a reference. Uh, sorry, general category as the reference category. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to include all these other variables, ST, SC, and OPC. Okay, all these other variables as the dummy variable in my regression equation. So I am not including general here but rest free. So let's see what we get here. So if I run it, I will get, I get the, the value, the coefficient for all these different categories, all right? All these different categories. So what I'm getting here. So I have already explained gender and sector new. These are binary dummy, but here I have a more dummy variables, ST, SC, OBC. So what I see here is that for ST, it is uh, minus 134.2. So that means, uh, and it is significant at 10% level, not alpha is equal to 0.1, not at alpha is equal to 5%, okay? So it, show, it says that uh, a person, if that person is ST, is likely to earn minus basically 134 rupees less than a person who is general, okay? So just by virtue of the social group, his earning is 134 rupees 134 less. Remember, when I'm saying this, I am saying that all other, uh, effect of all other variables are constant, only for the change in the social group from general to ST, okay? Not other, so basically everything else remains constant here, right? Uh, for if a person is SC, it is interesting. It, it shows that a SC, a person if he is SC, so he is going to earn rupees 229.6 is more than a person who is general. So it is a little counterintuitive, but this is the result. Of course, the significance level, the, the p-value is 0.07. That is, it is it is significant if I have alpha is equal to 10%. But if I have alpha is equal to 5%, then it is not significant. Okay, and for OBC. A OBC person earns rupees 334.8 less than a general candidate, general person and for this result is significant because the p-value is going to be minus, uh, p-value is very, very less, okay? So that means the uh, OBC category actually is earning uh, rupees 334.8 less than a general category. So that is how we will interpret the different dummy variables for social groups. So if I have to now going forward, if I have to include the dummy variable for region. So let's say east, west, north, south, and center. Let's say I know that uh, people in say east, they earn a lot more money than rest of the rest of the other uh, areas. So if that is the case, then what will happen is maybe I'll choose east as a reference category and I'll see, okay, how much less people in other re regions are actually earning vis-a-vis uh, -vis the people in the eastern category. So that is how I'll choose based on my knowledge which one, which uh, dummy, uh, which reference dummy I'm going to choose. So, and you know, depending on how many categories you have, you always have M minus one dummy included in the regression equation. So if I have like seven categories, let's say I have seven different religions, let's say, and I will have like six variables included in the regression equation. So for India, since uh, Hindus are the majority, so I'll have like Hindu religion as the reference dummy. And then I'll take you know, Muslims, Buddhists, Christians, Jains, Persians, and so forth in my regression equation. So all are the different, all the different religions will be represented by different dummies. So remember, if I have M categories, then I will include M minus one dummy because of that particular variable in my regression equation. So that is how we will take into account a dummy variable, which has multiple categories, all right? Now, one very relevant question here, is that can we can we include all the different variables all the different categories can I, can i really include all the different categories in my uh, regression equation okay uh, what if i include let's say in case of the social group uh, general also into the regression equation what if i include general SC, ST, OBC all together or what if I include say in the first case male, female together. I have both male and female, okay? So if I have two dummy 
uh, for a particular variable. So we will see that there is a specific problem that we are going to that we are going to face and that problem is known as the dummy variable trap and there is a very important problem that we need to understand and we need to understand the concept behind dummy variable trap why it appears okay and in the next lecture we are going to talk about this very important concept of dummy variable trap with this we will end this lecture here thank you